One particular point, though, in last night's debate has struck a chord with a lot of Americans today. When asked to outright condemn white supremacy, the president responded in part by telling a far right group to, quote, stand back and stand by. Our Ken Molestina joining us now with a little closer look at those words and the reaction that it has stirred. It's been a big one. Yeah, a lot of reaction, no doubt, Doug. You know, when given the opportunity last night, the president did not outright condemn anyone. He refused to do it. Instead, his words have confused many and have empowered some who may have taken it as a call to arms. In case you missed it, this was President Trump's answer last night when asked to condemn white supremacy groups. What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and white right like supremacists. White proud supremacists boys. and right proud proud boys. boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left. Earlier today, he had this to say outside the White House. I don't know who the Proud Boys are. I mean, you have to give me a definition because I really don't know who they are. I can only say they have to stand down, let law enforcement do their work. While he tried to walk back his comments, people we spoke with here in North Texas say his message to the extreme right and neo-fascist group is one that sounded like a call to arms. And they have taken that as a dog whistle and are running with it. They are literally standing by for his orders. He was letting them know, if this don't go the way I want to go, y'all get ready because we're trying to start some. TCU African American Studies professor Dr. Frederick Gooding says the president's words send a dangerous message while so many are trying to maintain peace among racial lines. He is doing whatever he can to garner support from wherever he can get it. Unfortunately, he's adopting the tactic of I'm simply just going to divide a racial line and see if I can get votes just based upon this idea that I'm a white male. TCU political science professor Dr. Jim Riddlesberger also chimed in. And the problem here is that without clarification, there's a huge opportunity for misunderstanding of what President Trump meant and what he did not mean. One Trump supporter we spoke with. Uh, I wasn't impressed. Agrees the derailed debate proves just how divided we've become. It was a school fight. Uh, I did expect uh, at any time that they would go in the back and settle it like uh, high school kids. Well, reports from earlier today say after last night's mention of the Proud Boys, the organization is now seeing a spike in their recruitment.